In this video, I'd like to sort of challenge the notion of muscle origin and insertion. It's a model. It's a very prevalent model. Pretty much any training in the world that's talking about muscles is going to talk about muscle origin and insertion. What do I mean by that? Well, say we've got an arm. Okay, here's your arm. Uh, i got a shoulder here and maybe an elbow and some arm bits down here and some fingers. Nice. Okay. So the origin would reference sort of the starting point of the muscle's leverage here, say, and then say it crosses over the joint and it lands down here somewhere, and we'd call that the insertion, origin and insertion. And that model is applied to virtually every muscle tissue in the body in the musculoskeletal system. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, I know models are supposed to be simplifications, that's important, so it's a good place to start. Well, let's bring it a little further because the fact of the matter is muscle tissue is in relationship to other tissues over 100% of its surface. So it's not just connected at the origin and the insertion. Muscle is connected over 100% of its surface. And then the real question is for someone who's trying to develop a more sophisticated understanding of their anatomy, is what is the quality of the relationship of the muscle tissue to other tissue at any point along the way. So origin and insertion tends to give a priority of our attention to maybe the fibrous anchorages of muscle tissue on this bone to that bone. And there's validity to that because those are important things. But if a muscle is having a problem somewhere else and you don't even know that it's connected <laughs> somewhere else, you're going to think it's like a piece of felt stuck on a skeleton here and stuck on a skeleton there with all, all air in between. So in another video, I'll actually kind of give a list of details of ways in which muscle can be connected to other tissue. But for now, I just want to say the challenge to the origin and insertion model is that muscle tissue is in fact connected over 100% of its surface and we would all do well to learn a bit about those qualities of relationship to sort of sophisticate our inventory of uh, relationships and understanding of the muscle tissue. So I'll see you in the next video uh, when I talk about those various uh, types of relationship of muscle tissue to other tissues. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your watching. Thanks for studying with me. If you'd like to learn more, visit me at gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.